So first, the most important part of defeating any cancer is ideally either preventing cancer, and we'll talk about that in our discussion, as well as if we have a cancer, finding it early. Indeed, in colon and rectal cancer, finding it early has become an incredibly important part of controlling that disease and being able to cure the disease. So with that, let me hand it off to Dr. Wright to discuss for us colon cancer screening. Thank you, Dr. Mesa, for inviting me uh, to talk this morning uh, on something that's really important to me, uh, colon cancer screening. Let's go to the next slide. So colon cancer is a very significant problem in the United States, over 140,000 cases per year uh, with over 50,000 deaths per year, which is the number two killer uh, among both men and women of the cancers. And uh, over the last few decades, we've actually done a good job at lowering those rates in people over about 50 or 55 but there is uh, something new in uh, uh, happening in that younger people are getting colon cancer uh, at an uh, earlier uh, at an age less than 50 and that has been a rising uh, rate in the United States. Uh, so as Dr. Mesa mentioned, uh, we want to number one, prevent cancer and uh, colonoscopy is something that can prevent colon cancer by finding polyps, those growths that sometimes can turn into cancer. And when we find them and remove them, uh, you, we can prevent cancer. There are also other colon cancer screening tests that uh, are more of a uh, early detector, a detection of cancer so that we can find it at an earlier, more treatable stage. Next slide, please. So uh, when should we start screening for cancers? Most guidelines in the United States uh, for average risk people uh, without any symptoms or family history of cancer uh, tell us that you should start at age 50. Uh, the exception is uh, for African Americans because we know that they will have uh, cancer diagnosed at an earlier age and at a later, less treatable stage. So uh, the majority of guidelines has, have uh, told us that we need to start screening African Americans at age 45. Uh, there are some other guidelines, uh, uh, in particular the American Cancer Society has said that we need to start looking at screening uh, all races at age 45. That's not really mainstream quite yet. Some insurances are not quite on board with that, uh, but because of the rising incidence in younger people, that may be something uh, that we see in the future where colon cancer screening may be offered at an earlier age. When do we stop colon cancer screening? Usually it's at age 75, especially for someone who's been up to date with their screening. In some cases in healthy people, especially those who have never had colon cancer screening, uh, it might be reasonable to, uh, to screen all the way up to 85 years old, depending on your health and if, uh, if your health is good and uh, it looks like you have about a 10-year lifespan remaining, uh, there might be benefit to screening. Uh, I mentioned colonoscopy is the gold standard. It's readily available in our community and it prevents cancer. Uh, for those who have been through colonoscopy, you know it's, it's a big deal. You have to take a day off from work, there's an IV, there's sedation, there's a, uh, a, an invasive procedure, but the advantages, as I mentioned, uh, you prevent cancer by removing those polyps, and if you have a clean colonoscopy, you're good for 10 years. So, uh, uh, and colonoscopies are very safe. Uh, for those who, uh, are wanting to avoid uh, that uh, procedure, the next best test would be an annual test for occult blood called a fecal immunochemistry test. And this is uh, a test that detects 
usually cancers at an earlier, more treatable stage. You have to do it every year. And you should know that if you have a positive test, that you would, would be required to go on to a colonoscopy. Uh, so some people would, would pick a fit over colonoscopy. Next slide, please. And there's some other screening options a little bit down the list that you may have heard of. One is a CT colonography or a virtual colonography. A virtual colonoscopy is another name for it. That's a test that happens every five years. You do need to take a prep to clean out your colon. You will have a tube inserted to uh, inflate your colon. And uh, it's something that can miss flat polyps. And if any polyps are found, then you have to go to get a colonoscopy to remove them. Uh, the other common uh, screening option is Cologuard, which is a uh, fit DNA, which includes some uh, tests for genetic material as well as a cold blood. And that's one that happens uh, every three years. Uh, and again, if it's positive, you would be required to do a colonoscopy. So, uh, uh, you know, all these tests are options to talk about with your doctor, but just know that if you have a positive one, you got to go get a colonoscopy. Next slide, please. You know, I wanted to mention since we're uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic, the effect that uh, the decreased screening rate has happened, has, uh, uh, has affected our society uh, and our screening rates are down by almost 90%, 80 or 90% and uh, especially in the early stages. And, you know, we're worried about delayed diagnosis, increased deaths, I saw one uh, model that potentially 10,000 extra deaths from decreased screening of breast and colon cancer uh, over the next 10 years, which is a significant number of people. Uh, so my message to you would be that uh, we have uh, developed these procedures at our uh, places where we do screenings uh, to have you tested for COVID-19. Uh, we follow precautions. So it's very, very safe for you to come and get a colonoscopy or any other uh, colon cancer test. And please do not delay uh, getting your screening uh, during this time. Uh, and the final message that I wanna tell everyone is that the best test is a test that gets done. So if you're averse to having a colonoscopy, look at FIT or one of those other tests and we will uh, uh, take care of you, but make sure you take care of yourself uh, thank you very much.